everybody welcome to the video my name is Michelle and you're watching real life with Michelle today's another bus stories video because my grandkids really like these and I have a lot of bus stories so for my grandkids sake let's do this all right I was in a bus accident I was in a very very bad bad bu bus accident it wasn't my fault thank God but it was a really bad bus accident what happened was, it was when I was working for the county, so I had a bus aide with me. Now, thank God my bus was empty. The only people on my bus was my bus aide and me. That is it. So what happened was, it was around 3 o'clock and school was letting out, all right? So I was driving down a road, like 35 mile an hour. I think that was the speed limit. And I never went over the speed limit in my bus not no, I really never went over the speed limit and because buses they don't go that fast in the street there were stop signs along the way so I mean once you got to the stop sign you don't you're not even going 35 miles an hour because it was stop go stop go so there was one intersection that did not have a stop sign for my my lane so I'm driving down the road. It was an icy day. It was like mid, oh, it was early, early, early spring. Driving down the road, potholes, you know, the potholes are around and that time of year. There was a car coming down a hill, coming down a hill that needed to stop. Now, I was driving down the road and I could see this car coming down the road and I could see that there's teenage kids in this car and what the teenage kids were doing they were on their cell phones they were all looking at their cell phones I could see in the car good enough that they were all looking at their cell phone even the driver all on their cell phones going down the hill and I'm thinking oh they're not gonna stop and I'm about here coming now I was up probably up to 35 miles an hour now because I didn't have to stop at this stop sign so I knew I didn't have to stop so this car's coming down the hill and I'm thinking oh they're not gonna stop oh they're not gonna stop looked up in the mirror saw my bus aide sitting she was sitting in the front seat I didn't say a word to her because if I would have said we are going to hit this car because I knew we were gonna hit the car she would have flinched got up and she probably would have gotten hurt because of her tightening her body or standing up to look or whatever she would have done she would have gotten hurt so I didn't t say anything to her and I slam on my brakes all right I start slamming on my brakes I'm holding onto the steering wheel as tight as I can my foot is as hard as it can be on that brake pedal because by golly this bus needs to stop it needs to stop so the bus didn't stop in time the car came down and i hit the car in the front right not in the driver's door i hit it i think i hit it in the front panel of the car the side of the car and it spun the car around backwards and it went underneath my bus so imagine the car from here going around the back and the back end went in underneath my bus as I'm slamming on the brakes now this car is underneath my bus right in the middle my back tires go over top of this car so imagine sitting in the driver's seat of a bus running over a car with your two back tires on the passenger side the whole bus did this and I'm thinking oh please don't flip please don't flip please don't flip please don't flip and all of a sudden we went down and we went boom really hard my bus aide gets up and jumps and she goes wow that was a big pothole I said we just hit a car a car well a car just hit us we've just been in an accident a car hit us she's like what what so the bus is now stopped and I get up and my hip really hurts it's like oh gosh my hip really hurts I sit back in my driver's seat and my bus aide she was wonderful she's like are you okay and I'm like I don't know I don't I don't think so but there were enough cars around that or enough houses around that you know whenever you see an accident somebody always calls 911 so I could hear the sirens coming as the windows were shattering on my bus I could hear sirens 
So she said, my bus aide said, we need to we need to call into transportation and tell them. I said, you got to do it. Handed her the phone. She called in, and we weren't far away from the garage. We weren't far that far. So they came in. You know, the boss came to the scene, and she's like, ugh, because it was a bad accident. So what had happened when the car went under my bus, and I ran over it. The I ran over it with my tires. It shot it out head on into a tree. I didn't know that. I did not know that at the time. Didn't know that that the this car full of teenagers not only got hit by a bus, went under the bus, and then went head on into a tree. Well, believe it or not, not one of them got hurt. None of them got hurt. So my boss came. The paramedics are there, and I'm trying to walk down the steps. The, you know, they wanted to carry. I'm like, no, I. The, uh, they were helping me down the steps because my hip hurt so bad. I was pressing on that brake for pat pedal so hard that it dislocated my hip. The paramedics at the time thought that I broke my hip. So I get in the ambulance and I'm rushed to a trauma center. I have cervical collar on, you know, the whole thing laying in the bed and everything. So I find out my hip was not broke. My hip wasn't broke. But I was off work for probably three months because it was dislocated. Finally, during physical therapy, it did go back into place, but I still have trouble with that hip. So, I go look at the bus, like two days after the accident, on crutches, go look at the bus, and I'm like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Now, I have some pictures that I'll try to put in right here. And the first picture is a, like a side view of the bus. And you can tell where the whole bottom panel was ripped off the bus where the car actually went under, underneath my bus. Now they found the, the, tail light of, the tail light of the car they found embedded in the metal of my muffler. It, it just went in there and just... The, the impact was so hard that it they had to peel the headlight off the muffler while they had to replace the whole muffler. Here, the bus, when I looked at it, the bus was, that sits straight. Now, the front end was turned in this way, and the back end was turned out this way. So, it was twisted. It twisted the whole frame of the bus. Thank God nobody got hurt, but it twisted that whole frame of that bus. The second picture I'll put in is another view of the side of the bus, but the muffler's hanging, and you could tell the, how the whole, the whole entire side of the, bo the bottom of the bus just, just caved right in. There wasn't too much damage to the front of the bus where the car was hit. I think they had to probably replace the radiator and stuff like that because that's the, the, the radiator sits in the front of the grill there. But you could tell where the car had gone under and just kind of shot out out in it was scary it was scary now the second picture that I'll put in I'm looking at these pictures now to reference the second picture that I'll put in is the back end of the car where you could actually see my tire marks is that one yeah no the second picture is the the, the, the car head on into the tree where you'll, you'll be able to see all the damage to, the, to this car. And thank God nobody got hurt. And then the next picture I'll put in is a head on, head on view of the, of the car like sitting next to the tree. And you can see my tire marks over top of the hood of the car. Thank God nobody got hurt. The tires sitting out and everything. But I know as the paramedics were getting me off the bus, the windows, all the windows were just, they were just shattering. These safety proof rings, they weren't coming out. They weren't shattering out, but they were like spider shattering from all the pressure of the, of the, of the accident. So, well, thank goodness nobody got hurt on that one. And that is the worst bus accident that I've ever had and thank God because I was on the road for 20 years and that was bad.
that was a bad accident all right so in those pictures you'll see a side door and what that side door is I don't know probably all of you have seen this where you the wheelchair goes up and down the lift comes out of the bus and goes down to the ground the wheelchair gets on and then they take the person and you take the person up and then into the bus well let me tell you what, what happened to me one day. I don't know. I was sitting, standing there. I was outside the bus. And it was my turn to run the lift. My bus aid was in the bus. And they have a control that's hooked to the bus, you know, that goes up and down and then in and out. Okay. So I'm standing there talking to the person that is going to get the person off the bus, the parent, guardian, whoever it was. We're just talking away, and I'm letting the lift out of the bus. It's coming out. It's coming out of the bus. And what do you think it did? It landed right on top of my head. I was in the way of the lift. So the lift corner of the lift hit me right in the head and stunned me, and I'm like, what the? that really hurt and it's like are you okay are you okay and once everybody found out I was okay no blood you know no nothing I'm okay it's just hit me in the head we all laughed about it because you know what who stands under a bus lift when you when when the bus lift is coming out you don't stand underneath it you pay you have to pay attention but I was I was just talking away just getting the lift out of the bus and bam that happened <laughs> that happened all right stay tuned for more bus stories and subscribe make sure you subscribe to my channel i'm trying to get 100 subscribers i have like 70 now and i want to reach that 100 mark that would be cool all right i'll see you in the next video bye